All right, so we are at the second part of this here, uh, editing the uh, functionality of our edit user page. All right, so one thing that I want to do here is I want to make sure that everything is inside this edit user functionality here, right? So we got this going on here, we got this. Uh, another thing that I want to actually uh, include is this here that I have it commented out for some reason. So instead of user password, I'm going to make this hash password. All right. And I'm going to uncomment this. Make sure it's available. Put my comma right above. Make it work. All right. And um, again, I'm going to wrap everything around this edit user right here. And uh, that's about it. That's all I want to do, to be honest with you. If it's not empty, then I want to actually do everything here. So if it's not empty, we're going to do this. All right. And we are going to update it also as well. That's okay. Let's look, do it like this. All right, perfect. And save it. All right, I think we're good to go here. All right, let's just delete this comment real quick. All right. Save it. All right, let's go ahead and try and log in. Recall one, two, and three. All right, perfect. So let's go to the user. Right now the password is one, two, three. Let's edit the user, and let's make let's do another password. And let before we do that, let's check to see what password we have right now. So I'm gonna click on here, and I'm gonna grab this here, and I'm gonna copy it into a text file. All right. And this is the old password right here. So I'm going to put old password. Let's see if it does the new password, right? So I'm just going to put this here. And let's see now. Let's go back and update user. It says that user was updated. Let's refresh here. And it looked like it did change. What do you think? Yeah, for sure. Now we have a different password. Let's check it out. All right, totally. All right, we were able to change to that new password. So now our functionality is changed here. All right. So for those of you out there that haven't changed this, do it and change it. Make sure that it's working good for you. One good thing about this here too is that after you do this, it's actually good to to um, to redirect back to users. What do you think? All right, so if you want to add that, that's cool. You can add it. All right, so we're done with this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next lecture.